Hello, this is Tom Zander again. This is Chapter 1 of Photoshop for Architects. As I said in my introduction, I start to these images in AutoCAD. You are now looking at the finished product. This is actually an image that was used for a presentation to a city by the site approval process. It's a very simple project, so let's get started. This is what it looked like in AutoCAD. Rather, it's an AutoCAD drawing I did myself, a one that my client or his architect gave me to use. There is one thing in common. Too much information. First, make all those details and title blocks go away. Now, if you want to make adjustments to the scale, you should do that in AutoCAD. AutoCAD is all about scale. Photoshop, not so much. So, think about the finished product size. Sure, we can make adjustments later, but it's best if you do it now in AutoCAD. Remember, you will be much more successful going from larger to smaller when you print your finished product. So always start your project to the scale and sheet size the maximum print size will be later. Then, if necessary, you can make reductions from there. I want to keep my base drawing as simple as possible no extra lines that will not add to the story of the finished product. You do not want to focus the eye or conversation on something that is not relevant. There are some things in Photoshop that you can do better and some things in AutoCAD. I like Photoshop text, so all the text in AutoCAD must go. I like AutoCAD arrows and dimensions, so they stay, but not too many keep it clean. Now, let's get rid of those extra lines, layers, text, and the like. Then the image will be ready to make into a PDF. AutoCAD and Photoshop are two completely different file types. AutoCAD is a vector file, lines, and Photoshop is a raster file, dots. So we need to convert the AutoCAD drawing into something that Photoshop will open, like a PDF. To do that, I use another Adobe product called Acrobat. Of course, there are other options, but with Acrobat already installed on my computer, I simply click File, Plot, and choose Adobe PDF as my printer. Then, with the appropriate pen assignments and correct sheet size, I click OK. And voila! A PDF ready for Photoshop. In Chapter 2, we will start Photoshop. I will show you how and exactly what I do to achieve these images. In the meantime, check out my other images and artwork at www.studioz3.com slash Thomas Zander. Thank you.